all right y'all if y'all seen the last video um i didn't get no gym footage uh, i'm done this is actually the same exact day i went to the gym now i'm leaving the gym um i want to make a video called gym etiquette you know shout out to mika fast and weight loss journey um Make sure I don't got nobody behind me. People love to walk behind me. That's a dude behind me right now that, you know, was the culprit of what happened right now. It wasn't nothing really bad, but I want to make a um a video called Gym Etiquette. You know, she gave me the idea in one of the comments a long time ago. Well, was it a long time ago? But I remember her saying it. Um, you need to make a video about Gym Etiquette. You know, this is called Gym Etiquette for beginners. Or I don't know if I'm gonna call it tips and rules for the gym beginners. Some something along those lines gonna be the title of this video. But okay, dude that was right there behind me. And uh, I don't know if y'all seen him or not. And I don't know if he's in the scene or not. He was on my backup camera as I was backing up. Um Dude was basically we got a coronavirus going on. Keep your distance. Why are you following me around the gym? We're not in the conversation. I got these big old over your head headphones on looking like this. This is clearly a sign that somebody don't want to talk. You know what I'm saying? Huh? Oh, I can't hear you. Huh? And sometimes I don't even be having my headphones. I don't even be having the music on. I just had headphones on. Hopefully it'll work. These do it does not. Oh, I almost threw them out the window. <laughs> oh, those are wrong time. But yeah, um. These do not work. People say put your headphones on and ignore people. I cannot. I cannot. They come to me. He wasn't even talking. He was bothering me. Because body language. Body language is worse than talking. Body language is worse than talking. It is. And I'm about to pull up at a stop sign, stoplight. And I'm next to people. And watch. They're going to be all in my car. Watch. I don't know if y'all can see them. But yeah. But yeah. It's worse than. It's worse than. In, um. It's worse than talking. Body language is way worse than talking. Because I was sitting, I, my bench is right here, right? Every time I move to, to, to change my music or to do anything to grab some more weights, I see just coming to my bench. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why is he circling my bench like he a shark or something? Like, like what is that, man? Somebody tell me that. Okay, rules in the gym. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Rule number one. It is all off the top of the head. Rule number one. Stop talking so much. You know, even if you want tips, if you're a beginner and you're trying to learn, I used to always say the best thing to do, and I was wrong, the best thing to do was go to the most impressive person, the strongest person, the biggest person, or the leanest person, or somebody who has lost weight or whatever. Go to them and pick their brain. No, you're messing up their workout. Leave them alone. You're not being a friend. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing that, you're not being a friend. You know what I'm saying? And you might think the person is ruled by walking away from you or whatever. They came there for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Rule number two. That, that leads me to rule number two. Off the top, these ain't in order. Some rules might be more important than others. I think they all is equally important. So, rule number two. Actually work out. 99.99.99.9% of the people that I see in the gym on a daily basis, and I don't even go to the gym every single day. There's a lot of people that go to the gym more than me. They get no results. They don't even take a day off. But they be in there. They think that being in there is half of the battle. Being here, I showed up. And what? I mean, you showed up and did nothing. If I'm going to do nothing, I'm gonna need gas. Uh, if I'm gonna do, that's the that's the downfall of having a Honda Civic. It's a brand new car and all that, but uh, downfall of having a Honda Civic is the gas mileage is so good. Even if I be zipping the speed, the gas mileage is so good that I forget to put in gas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm always almost at zero before I put in gas, which is a good thing, you know, for your car. But you know, you don't want to keep topping it off, topping it off. I forget what happened, but it, it's not good for your car. You know what I'm saying? Oh, um, good new car, old car, whatever. New cars can mess up too. I ain't had no problems, of course. Hey, warranty. They be paying for it. I ain't paying for it. 
they be doing it for free. But they still paying for it because they got labor. They got to pay their workers. But what was I on? Number three? Rule number three, I think. What's rule number three? I'm going to do this. I don't know. I'm going to do this video again one day and write, write it down. But I'm coming off the topic because I feel like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like she said too a long time ago that, you know, when you come off the top, I said something about writing my videos and stuff like that. I be leaving stuff out. She said, you know, people will get, um, get your personality more if you come off the top of your head. It's like a freestyle. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like rapping. You know, I used to rap all the time. But yeah, man, yo. <laughs> but yeah, rule number three. What I do and what you do. Stop trying to be okay. This dude, man, I think what he was trying to do. I don't know if he was trying to work in with me or something. Just say it. Say it. I'm going to say no. And then move about your business. I'm going to move about my business. You know what I'm saying? I don't really do gym partners. That, that, that's rule number four. If you're going to be a gym partner, gym partners are great. It's not for me to each his own. Gym partners are great. I've had maybe two or three gym partners that was pretty good gym partner but workout partners are great you know what I'm saying I'm a person I'm not a people person like that you know what I'm saying I'm not a people person like that I don't like people you know all over my head and stuff like that when I'm benching that's why I don't use a spotter you know I use a spotter when I need one but you know I work out I know my strength so I don't really need one can I make a mistake can things happen I know how to bail out um Try to work to where I don't need a spotter. You know what I'm saying? I don't need no spotter. For what? I'm messing up now. I'm at the gas station. God dang, y'all taking up all the gas? Oh, they got gas right there. They got diesel. The diesel is going. I ain't know. This ain't no diesel. Dang, man. People tripping on this coronavirus. COVID-19. Why do I say that in every video? So I can tag it. <laughs> this video ain't even about that. Dang. About to hit a circle. Rule number five, I think. I'm, I'm messing up. What's rule number five? Oh, yeah. Know what you're doing. Know what you're lifting. Be safe. You know what I'm saying? You see somebody benching twice as much as you. Don't try to keep up with them. They're on a different level for you than you for a reason. Maybe they've been lifting for years. Maybe they're on roids. Maybe they're not. You know what I'm saying? Maybe whatever. It could be a million different reasons. I mean, it could be a million different reasons why they're stronger than you. Their technique might be better than yours. You know, focus. You know, there's a lot of things that go into being strong besides actually size and, and, and effort and, and, and technique. There's a lot of things. There's a billion different things. And we're going to get into that on a different video. But... Just know that you don't need to be, ain't no gas. Yeah, ain't no gas in none of these. Know that you don't need to be competing with nobody. You need to be competing with yourself. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I need to heed my own words on that one because I be doing that too. You know what I'm saying? I've done it. I actually hurt myself doing it, you know, a long time ago. Nothing real serious, but I actually got hurt on deadlift. You know, I told this story before. Me and this guy, we went at it. You know what I'm saying? We was cool with each other, but we went at it in the gym because he kept on co – that's another rule. I must get to that next, coaching people. He kept on trying to coach me, and I told him. I was like, bro, if I listen to you, then I'm hustling backwards. You know, he told me like four or five times. Like, he kept on messing with me. Okay. Uh – let me go to the other gas station right here. But uh, he kept on messing with me. And I told him. I let him do it like four or five times. I'm a real nice guy. I, I let him do it a little bit too much. So I decided, oh, I'm going to get him. I let him say everything he was going to say. I waited. That's the best way to get somebody. If you're going to drop a bomb on somebody verbally, wait until they done talking. Wait until they try to catch their breath. Hit them. You know what I'm saying? I was like, dog. I was dealing. I was like, dog. If I listen to you, then I'm hustling backwards. If I listen to you, I'm hustling backwards. He was like, why? What do you mean? I was like, because I'm stronger than you. I'm better than you at this. And he was like, 
<laughs> so, um, so we went at it a little bit back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Why you gotta take the whole dang going thing? Really? You gotta watch how people drive down here for real. People back right into you. But yeah, um, so we we go like uh back and forth, and then I was like, dog. We're in the gym right now. We're talking about who lifts the best. We're in the gym right now. We can go. And he was, mind you, he was about 225. I was maybe 175 at the time. And um, I forget if I was cutting or bulking. I think I was on a lean boat. I was coming back up. The lowest I ever been was 168 pounds. So I think it was that year and I was coming back up. So um, I was like, dog, I'm stronger than you. He was about 225. We bench, squatted, and deadlift. I ate him alive. Wait, no. I slightly beat him on the deadlift. He slightly beat me on the squat. My squat was actually decent back then. And um, I ate him alive on the bench press. So two out of three, I beat him. Then we did pull up just for, and I ate him alive on those. But yeah, out of the powerlifting lifts, bench, squat, and deadlift, two out of three, I beat him. And I was 175 pounds. He was 225, so he was 50 pounds heavier than me. And he still had excuses of why he thought he was better than me. I'm like, dude, for people that don't know about lifting, lifting is, there's weight classes, just like, just like boxing. Okay, for example, boxing, you can have a heavyweight boxer like Mike Tyson. I'm just naming um, household names for people that's not a boxing fan know exactly what I'm talking about. You got people like, you know, um, Tyson and, and Holyfield and all that, big heavyweight dudes. And then you got people like Mayweather and Pacquiao, people like that. They're not going to box. These guys are not going to box these guys. It's two different weight classes. Just like in powerlifting, somebody won, I'm like 195 right now, 192 or something like that. I'm losing weight. Um, cut it. Purpose. Um, somebody 175 and somebody... 275 are not going to compete against each other. It's just like boxing. It's weight classes. So I told him, I was like, dog, I was like, okay, if we was actually in a competition, we wouldn't even be competing against each other. And I'd be probably doing well in mine. You'll be dead last of yours, right? So, so, um, what was I about to say? Okay, part, what am I on, seven? Man, I lost count, but that's another thing. Like, stop trying to – I was – okay, coaching people. Coaching people, like, dog, I see too many people coaching people, and it's like you miss your whole workout. You miss your whole workout because you in there. You got this 30-minute workout. Everybody talking about, oh, workout 30 minutes. Okay, how long was your warm-up? Did you warm up? I mean, 30 minutes. I mean, shoot, 15, 20 minutes in my warm-up. So I'm going to do 10 minutes of working sets. 10, 15 minutes of working sets, no, that's not a long enough for me. You know, I can work out in 30 minutes, super setting and this and that and the third, but people will try to coach you that don't even lift. You know what I'm saying? You might have started this year, New Year's Resolutioner. If you're a New Year's Resolutioner and you're still working out, I props to you because most New Year's Resolutioners, they quit the first, second, third month. It's about to be, what, the fourth month of the year? So salute to you for sticking in there. But uh, you ain't got the experience. I don't care what books you done read. I don't care what, what – I don't care if Arnold Schwarzenegger taught you himself or um, what power lifter Russell or he could have taught you something. You still do not have – you could have been watching a million Athlete X's or Chris Jones videos. You still do not have the experience to be teaching nobody. You still need to be learning yourself. You probably can recite something. You might be have a good memory to re recite all the stuff, but you're still not at the level where you should be teaching people. You know what I'm saying? I've been living for seven years. You know what I'm saying? You might compare me to somebody, a bodybuilder or something, like a, a, a Ronnie, I'm not even going to use his name, but um, like a Phil Heath or something, or a Kai Green or something. Those guys are heavily roided. <laughs> I am naturally natural forever. You know, it's a difference. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Stop comparing people. Stop judging people. Stop being in people's way. 
Your workout should be more important to you than mine. Your workout needs to be more important. What I'm doing is not going to help you. Every time I grabbed a heavier weight, that dude was coming. I was like, bruh, like, what am I impressing you? Am I not impressing you? Or I'm like, I don't get what he was doing. I don't. And the dude, and then it's every age group, but dude was like, he had to be mid to late 40s, I'm guessing. I don't think he was 50. He could have been 50. You know what I'm saying? But you grown. You way older than me. I'm 36. I'll be 37 in August. Um, you way older than me, man. He didn't mess up my workout. I'm not, I'm not, I didn't have a bad workout. If I'd have been recording, it would have been worse and it would have turned into a bad workout. But you know what I'm saying? I didn't record. The gym staff wasn't there. They, the staff is leaving early because of the virus or whatever. Um, I wiped down my equipment and everything, safety. Um, I'm probably better off working out at home right now. All, like I said in my last video, all I got is 20 pound dumbbells. That's another thing. Learn how to uh, learn how to use the equipment. You know what I'm saying? Stop going in there teaching yourself. At the end of the day, you might be proud when you learn on your own, but pride aside, pride can get you hurt. You know what I'm saying? You need to listen to somebody. If it ain't if it ain't a coach at the gym, I mean, out of the commercial gyms that I've been to, I probably seen maybe four or five good coaches in within seven and a half years of lifting. Um, I mean, when I learned, I just watched a bunch of YouTube. I watched a billion YouTubers. Uh, I read, I Googled, I just studied my butt off and I took what I studied to the gym. You know what I'm saying? I took what I studied to the gym. Started off light, learn my form. Learn your form first. Form is, form equals safety. It's like a car crash. I said this a million times, but it's just like a car crash. I look at it like this. You got a big, solid tree, right? You crash into that tree at five miles an hour. Is it possible for you to get injured? It's a big, solid tree. I'm pretty sure you can get injured, but how likely? I don't know. Take that same tree, that same car, that same angle, same everything, but instead of five miles an hour, do it at 100. What's going to happen? Same thing with weight. If you're deadlifting 135 pounds with bad form, can you hurt yourself? You can, I mean, but the odds of you hurting yourself compared to you hurting yourself trying to deadlift three, four, five, six hundred pounds with bad form, I mean, it's like you're asking for it now, you know what I'm saying? But stay safe, stay injury free, injury free. I gotta go eat. I don't know, what was that? Seven, ten, ten tips. I don't know, but I gotta go eat. Oh yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Stop, and that's another thing. Stop telling people how to diet. If somebody, and stop telling people what to do and what not to do. I see people in the gym all the time making all kinds of mistakes. Only time I stop them from making a mistake if I, or try to stop them, is if I see them about to injure themselves. I'm not about to watch you injure yourself. I would tell you like, hey dog, that's, you know what I'm saying? I say to do life before. But if you're doing cardio and I feel like, you know, you got all these plans about building muscle and, do, and you're doing all this cardio, but you're never lifting weights, that's none of my business. Don't get your gains. Your gains ain't got nothing to do with my gains. I mean, at the end of the day, you should know. Common sense should tell you you should be hitting them weights. Just like common sense should tell me I need to start doing some cardio. I tell myself that, but I never do it. <laughs> but um, I was just saying, I don't, I don't dictate nobody workouts, man. This ain't this ain't Pinocchio. This ain't no puppeteer, string master, puppet master. You know, get out of here with that. I mean, you're not the boss of anybody. You don't run. Sh you don't make rules. You know what I'm saying? To each his own. This and that and the third. You know what I'm saying? Like when I started fasting, I started doing intermittent fasting. Like when it got big on YouTube. When it first got big on YouTube, that's when I started. A lot of people just started now. But guess what? A lot of people that I personally know that do it now, they call me, they ain't call me stupid or nothing like that, but they meant, that's what they were saying in so many words. You're going to die. I had somebody tell me, you're going to die. And that same person is trying to do it now. I told you, he asked me for tips. Oh, I told you five years ago. I ain't telling you again. Watch my video. 
Son of a <laughs> nah, but uh, yeah, but let yeah, man, if y'all made this far in the video, comment, like, subscribe, share the video. You know what I'm saying? Like the video. If you made this far in the video, you must have liked it. So hit that like button. Um, share the video. There's much more to come. I'm gonna do this video again, but I'm gonna write it. No, I'll probably do it like I did my um. I got a video called Ten Ways to Start a Conversation." Which is like I was being sar sarcastic. I didn't want to start a conversation. But I was like, I did a live. But it was like a video. I had wrote like the things, the 10 tips. But then I went off the top. I'll probably do my video. I might do it like that. Write the tips. And just, just go in. You know what I'm saying? As I go through the tips. I don't know if it's going to be 10 tips or what. But I got more tips than that. I don't know. Comment, like, subscribe, share, peace. Holler back at your boy. Watch my old videos compared to my new ones. Watch my summer shredding videos. That's coming real good. I mean, dog, people all in my face, man. I hate, man, I don't hate nobody, but man, I don't like people. <laughs>